انا تربيت بينهم ودرست مم. على ايديهم انا مم. انسان تربيت بمساجدهم كثير الامور يخفيها رجال الدين كثيره موجود عندنا مصايب في كتب الدين والفقه موجوده كثيره بس هم ما يحبون يناقشون ولا يحبون نعرضها على الناس واذا عرضتها يقول لك فلان شكك واذا عرضتها دقيقه اذا عرضتها يقول لك دقيقه دقيقه اذا عرضتها يقول لك يشكك الناس في الاسلام لا انا ماشي هذا موجود في كتب الاسلام لما يجيني حديث النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم يطوف على نساء التسع وبغسل واحد وتذكره لا تشكك هذا موجود في كتب الاسلام لا تخافون من الناس لا تخافون من الناس ليه فهذا موجود فعندنا كثير امور رجال الدين يخفون تسعين بالمئة ويخشون والله يخافون يطلعون في تساؤلات كثيرة انت لو تتعمق بالمصائب التي يخفيها رجال الدين بس احنا رجال الدين دائما خلاص يخفون الكثير والله لو خرج رجل الدين يتبنى افكاره وفتواه ان امة ستنقلب عليهم لكن كيف انا اتبنى كيف انا انصر منهجي كيف ان اخفي افكاري واظهر اللي, تت... ها؟ اللي انا وانت يمكن ان نختلف به فاذا سؤالك تسعون بالمئة يخفون رجال الدين من المعلومات تسعون بالمئة ولا يريدون الناس أن تعلم ولا يريدون الناس أن تعلم ويحرفون الكلام ويكذبون تصور والله العظيم يكذبون إلا من رحم الله والله يكذبون موجود فعادي يا أبا سليمان ليه مستغرب أنت تجارة سيدي كيف هذه الفتوى كيف إرضاع الكبير إرضاع الكبير مثلا يقول لك هي الرضاعه مباشره، ما يقدرون كيف وضع فيناء وكذا، عندنا امور لو قلناها لتزندق الناس. كفر الناس، لهم هم وش عندهم؟ لا بخفيها ياتي مثلا لمساله لا يقبلها عقل ولا دين. عند فتاوى لا يقبلها مسلم مسلم لا يقبلها، مسلم لا يقبلها، ياتي يخفيها. واحاديث لا يقبلها عقل يخفيهن. لماذا يقول حتى الناس رحمه بعقول الناس، فالشاهد من الامر سيدي، نعم رجال الدين يخفون مصائب. ولو تكلموا بها سينبذهم المجتمع عن بكرة أبيهم. Hi, you have probably seen my video about the splitting of the moon, where Muhammad supposedly, according to the hadith, split the moon in half, and uh, no one saw it because it was at night. It happened at night, and people usually sleep at night, so people didn't see it, except Muhammad. Uh, and so maybe some of his Sahaba, right? So uh, I received uh, a comment from a Muslim who is uh, trying to, you know, force scientific stuff into the mix. And he was uh, talking about NASA and whatnot. Now, here's the comment of this Mohammedan, this Muslim, by the name of Rashid Shabab. Rashid Shabab he says the following and I quote the moon was twisted even NASA proves that why did your Bible don't mention such an incident well first of all the moon wasn't twisted and NASA never said that and he goes uh, and uh, you know how Muslims are he immediately goes to the Bible and why does your Bible don't mention mention such an incident well because uh, our bible uh, is not a stupid book like your quran or your hadith you know so my answer to this gentleman was and i quote nasa would smack you and your fake prophet in the face for lying about the moon i went to their official website and they said about moon splitting as answer so I went to the NASA website to see what NASA has to say about this. This is the NASA website. Uh, survey Solar System Exploration Research Virtual Institute. Survey. And I think this is a Muslim who asked them this question, this following question. Evidence of the moon having been split in two. This person who is asking this question says and I quote you have already answered this question in August 2009 but I like to go into more detail this website and it gives a website uh, of course a Muslim website claims that Allah split the moon in two at the request of the Prophet Muhammad 
and there is a split on the moon documented by American scientists that goes right around it, which is evidence of the miracle. Is there any truth to any of these claims? This person is asking. Now, Brad Bailey, who is the NLSI staff scientist, answers back, and this answer is on June 21st, 2010. So this answer is given on June 21st, 2010. Brad Bailey answers, and I quote, My recommendation is to not believe everything you read on the internet. Peer-reviewed papers are the only scientifically valid sources of information out there. No current scientific evidence reports that the moon was split into two or more parts and then reassembled at any point in the past. Brad Bailey, NLSI staff scientist, June 21st, 2010. So you see, Muslims, you have you have a problem with uh, with science, man. Science destroys the claim that Muhammad by the miracle of Allah split the moon in half. That's a lie that goes against science and whatnot. And to make it even more worse for you Muslims who can't think for themselves and have to parrot the lies of their scholars, their shayukh and stars who are lying to them for all these years, what would happen? What kind of effect has the moon had on Earth's rotation? So what happens if suddenly uh, there's no moon or something, or the moon is split. It would be a complete catastrophe, a complete disaster for mankind. And here's why. The moon formed much closer to Earth than it is today. As Earth rotates, the moon's gravity causes the oceans to seem to rise and fall. The sun also does this, but not as much. There is a little bit of friction between the tides and the turning earth, causing the rotation to slow down just a little. So without the moon, we would have a huge catastrophe. The rotating of the earth would be affected immediately. And Lord knows what would happen to mankind on the planet earth. Can we survive without the moon? That's the one million dollar question. Without the moon, or let's say if the moon split or whatever, a day on earth would only last six to 12 hours. Wow. There could be more than a thousand days in one year. That's because the earth's rotation slows down over time thanks to the gravitational force or pull of the moon. And without it, days would go by in a blink. So, if the moon would have been split in two parts, life would change drastically on planet Earth. So, do you see how important the moon is for our planet to survive? Muslims, stop believing in 7th century lies, taqiyya and mekr, the deception and lies that the Sahaba invented to make Muhammad look like a real prophet. But we know what the Quran said in chapter 17, ayah 59. And we refrain from sending the signs only because the men of former generations treated them as false. So Allah is crystal clear in the Quran that he stopped sending signs. So Muhammad was nothing but a mere warner in other ayahs. Muhammad did not perform any miracles because Allah stopped sending signs. And the reason for that is former generations treated them as false. So there are many scholars in Islam who even condemn it. They condemn the fact that when you say that Muhammad performed miracles, that means according to these scholars of Islam, you are calling Allah and his Quran lies and deception. The ayah is crystal clear and we refrain from sending the signs only because 
the men of former generations treated them as false. So Allah did not send any sign, any miracle to Muhammad. But as long you Muslims are keep telling us that the moon has been split into two parts, you are showing us what kind of liar Allah is, what kind of liar the Quran book is. A book which is full of lies and deception. That's what you are trying to say, Muslims, when you keep saying that the moon has been split in two halves. Keep doing that. You are actually helping us. Thank you. Guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to download our videos and make it go viral on social media. God bless you and Lord willing, we will see each other again in a, another video. Thanks for watching and God bless. And by the way, if the video says so, that's me, it is so. I want to share a piece of a clip with you, which is uh, from this individual called Farid. I, I went to his video in which he's trying to refute my moon splitting. And look what I found. Look, look what his argument is. You would expect that the Persians and the Romans, in this time the Byzantines, would document such a miracle. Because both of them, especially the Romans, kept records strictly of pretty much everything. There's another issue with Ravan's assumption here. One of the reasons why we do not have heaps of documented evidence was because most people were asleep at night. Remember, this is the 7th century. The argument here is uh, people, we don't have any secondary reports of the moon splitting in two in the 7th century because it happened at night, because, because people were sleeping, you know, people were sleeping. They, they didn't see that because, you know, people were asleep. Because most people were asleep at night. Am, am I the only one who thinks this is this is the most one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard? He's got a point. Most <laughs> most people would be asleep. I mean, come on, you can't deny that. People sleep at night. Come on. <laughs> you are so silly. Alhamdulillah for Islam, brother. Please recite the Shahada, brother, and you will get seventy-two male virgins with big breast, brother. Alhamdulillah, subhanallah, brother, Muhammad told the truth in his Quran, brother. Are you going to accept my da'wah to Islam? I'm sure you're going to do that. You will recite the Shahada, brother, today.